Welcome to Houston Sports Show. I'm your host, Jerome Solomon. And I'm Lauren Leal. And you sound a little bit like Lauren Bacall right now with that raspy voice. <laughs> Thanks, Jerome. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> Tillman Fertitta has had a major impact on Houston business and sports for many years. But when he bought the Rockets a year and a half ago, his life changed. I sat down with him at the Landry's corporate offices recently to talk about the Rockets, the Cougars, and what's worse, losing $20 million or a regular season NBA game. Which one of your businesses is doing the best? The uh, Landry's family, the University of Houston Cougars, or your, your Rockets? Uh, I think they're all doing well right now. Um, uh, we would like the, the Rockets to have a few more wins, but uh, you know the Cougars are making up for them right now. Uh, all those guys I feel really, really good about. Well, you feel and then that I love to always say, you they better that win. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to party with J.J. Watt, of all people. And I, I think it would be interesting to get in that, uh, uh, that no-frills cabin of his and drink a bunch of beer and work out. I think it'd be fun. That's you know, part, you pardon, with, pass on Harden. You pardon with J.J. Watt, you're just drinking milk, boys. That's the whole thing. Hey, Jerome. Oh. It's Matthew McConaughey calling. I just want to wish you luck on your new show and say that if you ever need anybody to come down there and play the bongos and get undressed and share a performance of having substance or two, you got me, brother. All right, all right, all right. More of Houston Sports Show coming right up. Welcome back to Houston Sports Show. It's time for our HSS Weekend Anchor and serious sports news guy, Barry Laminek. In other news, New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft was busted recently in a prostitution sting at a Jupiter, Florida massage parlor where prices start at $59. When asked why he didn't pay for higher priced talent, Kraft responded, that's not the Patriot way. <laughs> so let me get this straight. An NFL owner won't pay a player to kneel, but he will pay hey, a pro- hey, hey, hey. no, 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 no. That, That's my bad. And now it's time for the Gulf Gate Drive of the Week. And for that, we go over to Toyota Center earlier this week. Old school drive of the week. Indeed, Dwayne Wade of the Miami Heat does all kinds of old school trickery to the Rockets and Austin Rivers and Clint Capella. Wait, where you going, young fella? I'm back over here. No, I'm over there. That's how you do it. Old school style, old school drive of the week. Welcome back to Houston Sports Show. Here is this week's Golden Nugget. Have you found something in it that you just don't like? Uh, there seems to be, you know, I don't want to get fined. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. I don't want to get fined. I, I can lose $20 million in a deal, and I just say, you know what? You do a lot of deals, you're going to lose some. And, and Win some, lose right, some. You lose some. That's just the way it is. And... But God darn, I never had to go and have a few drinks after a bad deal. <laughs> but after a bad loss, I need to have a few drinks. <laughs> so the Rockets are making you drink more is what you're saying. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Up in the Cubs zone, there's really cool concepts where you can get your hands on virtual reality, what it's like to be a mascot here at the university. And there's other games you can play up there too. We got to keep in mind that we have a large constituent group that you know from older generation to younger and so we have a lot of kids and families that come out to the games we wanted to make sure that we could offer uh, them something to do during the game as vicious as boxing can be virginia fush a petite 5'4 112 pound flyweight is at peace in this world of exertion and exhaustion fush lives with obsessive compulsive disorder ocd a contamination ocd for her is specifically a subset of the anxiety disorder that is the fear of contamination and germs it's amazing that someone who has been known to shower for hours before she felt clean enough to go to bed can be involved in such a nasty sport as boxing, a sport where the blood, sweat, and tears aren't always your own. But OCD hasn't stopped Jenny Foosh from becoming a champion. How do you box if you don't, you know, you don't want to get dirty or you don't want to get germs on you? And I struggle with it. The moment I wake up until the moment I put my head on the pillow to go to sleep. But it doesn't stop me from coming to the gym and training every day, three times a day. It doesn't stop me from getting in the ring and getting punched in the face and getting blood and sweat on me. It doesn't stop me from doing that. 
but it's still a struggle and it gives me so much distress a lot that I I want like I I need to find better ways on how to manage it so that I can focus more on having like a peace of mind and living more of a happy life. I'm not saying I'm happy, I'm just saying like more of a distressed life.